This is YBR with Taxi Rider. In reality, you're the taxi driver. How deceptive. So, I thought maybe it was, you know, when I first bought it, maybe it'd be something uh, unique or interesting. It's a crazy taxi clone that is um, on the PlayStation 2, 2003, I think. Uh, uh, you, uh, my goal is to drive the streets of this city. Uh, that's the boss of the taxi office. Yep, I work as a driver here. I might find it difficult. No, I won't. Because my first time driving a taxi, even when it was, it wasn't difficult. I gotta make a certain amount of money each day. I work from certain hours of the day. Those ones. And if I don't make enough money, I get fired, supposedly. And the overall goal in this game is to get a, a million yen. Which, my very lazy conversion would be about uh, $10,000 in the U.S. And uh, if you're somewhere else, I don't know the conversion rate for that, so do it yourself. So I gotta watch the time for places where the people will be together, and I gotta treat customers well. If you make more money than expected, I get bonuses that'll upgrade my car, so they'll like, upgrade your car. Like, hey man, you got more acceleration. You don't get a choice in it as far as I know, they'll just upgrade it. And before you continue, I have, you, he has to give me his approval. Because I'm still not allowed to go. But once I get permission, I can go. Got it? Then go. What was the point of that phrase? I don't know. Okay. For now, you will only make a little money. But you have to get to... But you have get to the end of the day. Right? Yep, yep, yep. For now, you will only make a little money. But you have get to the end of the day. Yeah, okay, sure. Go. First day to work. Go to work as taxi driver. You need to earn the daily quota. See, that's why I didn't actually read it word for word, because a lot of it is that kind of... This English is weird. Uh, it was European only. There are a couple of things that might be graphical glitches, because I'm using a swap disc. Or it could just be the way the game is. Uh, the first one you saw on the loading screen is... Uh, the, there was like the backgrounds didn't match up quite right. And here, the numbers, they have a black background to them. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be transparent, but the uh, swap disc screwed it up somehow. Uh, this game has the ability to be run at either um, European or uh, American, though, um, refresh rates. So that might have made it worse because so I, don't, I don't know how the swap disc works. But I ended up saying, "Yeah, let's record. Let's uh, let's do uh, the American style refresh rate and stuff versus European one." And was that a guy? Yeah, he's a he. He wants a. You just drive up to him. Pull up this ring so you can tell where to actually park. It's a really tight ring. Trying to find where to go is not too easy. So then you have to go to the library. You have a map you can pull up here. It doesn't, as far as I know, actually tell you where you need to go. Just where you are. You have a mini map you can use as well. But it's not too useful. So really, driving anywhere, it's just kind of a little bit of trial and error. Because it's just like, alright, I gotta figure out which way is the, you know, which way it is and stuff. Because I haven't memorized the city, obviously. So I got 1,800 from that. That's halfway to the quota. It, after I've only done a first, a few levels. It is easy to reach the quota though. I want to find somebody who's doing a multi-location. There we go. Perfect. So this one has to bank into the apartment. So this is kind of the thing that makes it more than just a crazy taxi clone. All right. So you got to bank into apartments. The bank. There are actually multiple banks around here. So you could say I want to go to this bank, and it'll be most logical to go to this one because it's closest, I'm assuming, if you've been uh, able to memorize the map. And one idea I have is just print this screen out, make my own little map if I was actually playing this seriously. Like, all right, there's a bank here. I'll just handwrite all that on it and stuff. Uh, but I have no intentions of doing that, at least yet. I can do a Let's Play for it. Like I said, the goal is to make a million uh, yen. Something neat might happen there when you do that. I don't know. Anyways, that's the first location they wanted to go, and now we go to the apartment because they got to pay their rent. Uh, there's nothing too interesting about the locations people usually ask for. Uh, I guess like there was like a kid that wanted to go to elementary school. See, I was great, so I get a speed bonus, and then I hit the target. Additionally, I also earn the amount required for today. I think you have to get a certain amount over the quota to get the upgrades. I think it was 700 for the first one. Otherwise, you don't actually get the upgrades. So now, there's a p uh, place flashing there. That means the the, he the the head of the taxi company says, 
there are probably people here, and that's basically a guarantee that there'll be at least one person you can pick up there. Because sometimes it is difficult to find people to drive around. So here's the person right where he said, as promised. Oh, scared him away. And one thing that's kind of annoying, um... Alright, so, like, let's just show this. Like, alright, what? Really, guy? Oh, well, okay, it's around the corner. Ow, ow. He barely wanted to go anywhere, though. But, like, one thing you can do is, like, alright, I'm delivering this guy. You know, get him in there. Oh, I didn't hit it in time. I'll do it next time, because I hit the wrong button. Alright, uh, controls are okay. Like, it's very on rails -y. It's not like Crazy Taxi, you can fly through the air. If you hit a bump, the car just kind of suction cups to it. You try to run people over, they just get out the way. How boring. Uh, but, so say you wanted to get, like, get somebody to a location. And it's like, oh, I hit R2. They, they get hella mad, and that's that. Like, if... I accidentally hit R2 the first time, not knowing what it would do. I'm like, what's this button do? Because L1 and R, uh, R1 bring up these things, the little circle in the map. So, See, now he's like, your reputation is not good. It's funny, though. Uh, before I was uh, actually playing the game, I was just sitting at the menu for a sec. And I, wasn't, I hadn't delivered anybody or anything. He comes up, your reputation is great. It's like, how the fuck is my reputation great? Like, nobody's even driven in my car. Alright, so we're just gonna, uh, you could end the day, or prematurely if you want to. Like, you get enough money, you don't need to do any more. Oh, look at that, that looks weird. That's a graphic glitch. No, wait, no, it's not. Let's pull up the map again for a second, I'm not quite sure, uh, which way to go. Yeah, their heads wobble with how you drive, like, if you crash, they lean forward and shit. You go on a curve, they like, boink, boink. And they get mad, like, oh my god, this guy can't drive, why did we pick this taxi? As far as I know, no matter how much you crash, it doesn't really affect anything. It's just, you gotta get there as fast as you can, really. And then, uh, you get so much money if you, bonus money, uh, depending on how fast you do it. I wanna say, also, that you might, there might be a bias to making more money when you haven't met your quota, but I'm not sure on that. That's more of a, me being skeptical about the way the game is and stuff, and like, I'm not quite sure. Or maybe there's some other factor, but it seemed like it to me. Alright, so you know what? We got enough money. We could go the next day if we wanted to, but uh, it's about almost 11. I think the day is only till 1. Ah, well, no. Is it 12 or 1? I forget. I think it's actually 1. I was going to say, tw oh, those two just crashed. It's my job to crash. And no, no side effects to crashing or anything. That, that guy's just walking. It's uh, sometimes it is hard to tell, like if they're just a person who's standing by or if they actually need a taxi drive. Because if they need a taxi drive, they'll just be like, "Hey," waving their hands, and they'll usually be on the sidewalk and not in the inner ring part. There's also the circle button, which I don't know what it does. See so shopping districts. So you pull up the map. Oh, that's halfway across the whole city. Great. Who was that guy? Girl? Whatever. Were they wanting a ride? Nope. Things kind of warped in weirdly. Like, I don't know if it's my imagination, but when I was backing up, the building shapes and stuff looked weird. You can't drift or anything that hard to try. You hit circle button, that happens. I don't even know what that is. But it's just like, it doesn't slow you down or anything. See, I'm 119 and I'm hitting it. Nothing's happening. Like it just makes smoke. And a lot a lot of the games I imported, they didn't have manuals. It's like, this is a CD. That's what happens when you buy the ones that are like, one dollar. I'm like, oh, that's, that's my price. And it's like, oh, you wanted a manual? Well, fuck you. So, uh, I'm a, I, didn't, I didn't see much about it online at all about this game. So, my, I, like, all the images I saw, though, also had that black, uh, that black thing around the numbers. So, I, I don't know what's up with that, like. Like, maybe everybody else is using, like, emulators or import discs or some shit where it screws it up, too. But it just, it doesn't seem right to have a black box around it. Especially when, at the top, quota doesn't have a black box around it. Quote, I mean, the hit the target part below quota, that doesn't have a black box on it. That one's just, um, transparent. So I'm thinking it might be a broken transparency when you use the import, but I'm not sure on that. 
Alright, so. There we go. Uh, like I said, the overall goal is to make a million. Right now we have 10,000, so about 1% of the way. Literally, 1% about. So, uh, it will take a while. I think you can make more money the later you go, though, because you'll have a better car and can do things faster, more efficiently. Because, like, <sighs> keep crashing. Yeah, everything's really cartoony, though. Like, the shape of the cars is all scrunched up and, you know. He's like, 60 minutes to under your shift. Oh, no. Is there anybody? No, there's no guarantees of anybody's location, so you just kind of have to search. Nobody. I'm just going back to that shopping, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that was a person. I saw somebody, but I think they were too far away. But I really don't know what this does. Oops. Besides distracting me and making me crash, I have no idea. Ah, there ain't, oh wait, there's a guy. He looks sad. So he's going to a bank and a mansion. So we just got to imagine. All right. Hmm. Why would he have his daughter with him to go there? He's probably. See, I probably should go to the mansion first because he's probably selling his daughter to the bank or uh, to somebody who's rich and lives in the mansion. Then he's going to the bank to cash the check he gets, probably. But I'm going to screw his whole plan up by going to the bank first because that's where the arrows on my screen I was looking at went to. So, screw you. Yeah, it, it's funny, they just like jump out like nothing happened after I just get T-boned. Ow, move you asshole. I'm, I'm the asshole. Poor guy, he shouldn't be called an asshole. Oh, you can honk too. I don't know. Give me, give me the ability to honk, and I fucking will. Uh, so my shift is gonna end, and I, I won't have them delivered. So I could just wait. What? What? I made that, you son of a bitch. Where are you? I'm gonna run you over. I can't run you over. You're lucky. Uh-oh. Huh. I'm just getting a black screen here. Um, that didn't happen the first time. Well, uh, next time it continued on with the story. Well, I don't really know if I should say it with the story because I don't even know if there's really a story to all this. Um, oh well. I mean, I have a game where I already did a couple of missions I could use to pick up from there. I mean, I might do a let's play if there's a demand, but this game might not be stable. I don't know. Anyways, till next time, YBR, see ya!